new regulations, a new season, all new cars, and an open for and an open formula. This is the this is the World Motorsport Championship 2016 season. New regulations coming in to provide an open engine form an open engine formula and an open engine formula. Better pe better cars with better car better looking cars with better aerodynamics that allow for more overtaking. New tire new tire suppliers as well to provide even better to provide better tires for racing and strategy. It's all coming together for a very interesting 2016 season as we take a look at the teams for this very for this new season. Mercedes Benz. The world champions from the previous season, the world champions from the pre previous season, now with some even now with even more cash injected into the team, with two very strong drivers in Harry Chapman and Nina Holtz, former formerly friends, now r bitter r now bitter rivals for the championship title. Both are both are looking very strong going into the season, and they want to be the champion. It's e it's championship or bust for both, as they both want to be the team leader, and o but only one of them can have it. Ferrari, the Italian, t the famous Italian manufacturer, is back is back with a vengeance with, de with, with with former world champion Dieter Wexler and Nilo Nilo Sarian on their paybooks. However, both drivers are. Getting up in age and looking, and the team needs to find a new driver to replace the aging Nilo Sarian soon before he chooses to retire himself. It'll be a tough ask for the for the team to try and mi win this title, but they are up to the challenge with their new car. Honda Racing. The Japanese manufacturer is back as a works team for the first time in o for the first time in o for the first time in eight years, and this time they want this time they're going all in with their very pro with a very good Australian a Zo a Sharp and Nikolai Sirikov alongside. They are looking to try and redeem themselves from a di from a disappoint. They're looking to try and make a good impact for this season. Will the will the white and red will the white and red car be able to win to win th this season, or is the car just or will the car simply not be fast enough? Ford, two ve two veteran drivers brought two veteran drivers brought in, and Javier Vasquez and Jenny North, both have won both ha have previously won championships and other in other formula, but th but now. They're all on the. They're looking to retire soon, but they want to leave. But they want to give the project a chance to grow and develop before they call it. Before they call it careers in open wheel racing, will they be able to help Ford for develop the car before they before they head off, head off? And what is Ford's plan going for? What will Ford's plan be going forward after they leave? And Renault. With the Brit, with the bright yellow and blue, is back once again. Is back once again as a works team after a short absence. This time with Finnish driver Aki Lipinen and Brazilian veteran Anne Oliveira in the cockpit for their cars. Will their will their engine department be able to actually provide a decent engine for this seat for this season, or will their engines go, or will their engines go up in a cloud of French smoke and swears once again? The Bavarian firm is back after several after several years of not competing due to the financial issues at the, the end of the last decade. With German with German hire Wolfgang Schmidt and and Mexican superstar Maria Gonzalez alongside, the do they have very good they have very good drivers, but will they have will they have the car to be able to compete? Straight testing times look good and their and their speed traps look incredible. But will they be able to capitalize that and turn that into potential race-winning performances? And Toyota are back after after an embarrassing campaign in the 2000s, where they where they failed to win any races despite a massive budget. They're back, and this time with better management as well, bringing in dr experience, bringing in experienced dr experienced hands to help lead the team forward 
and with a and with a youthful driver present in the Flying Dutchman of Rick de Graff and the Spanish sensation of Lucia Flores, looking to take over the looking to take over the mantle for Spain after the after veteran Javier Vasquez retires at the end of the season. Will Toyota finally be able to win win after so many years of trying and struggling? And for the first time in over 40, in almost 40 years, Alfa Romeo finally have a works team and a works engine in the back of their cars. With veteran driver, same, with veteran driver Samuel Block leading the charge and pay, and and quick but pe and quick but well connected Alejandro Moreno in the second car, Alfa Romeo is looking to make an impact in their first season. But could they have done better with their driver lineup? And will their and will their car be able to actually hold up with their infamous reliability issues of the past? What being their Achilles heel? Peugeot, the French, the second French manufacturer, finally looking for a chance to redeem themselves and finally, finally beat Renault at their own game. Swedish Swedish star Siri Lundqvist is the lead leading the charge and Esteban Ribeiro also following in her footsteps from for Brazil they're looking to make an impact they're looking the their two drivers are very good but are they good enough to be able to lead the team forward one of the expansion teams Asia Road Racing Team with very with good drivers in Rick Casalin and rookie San Junio Hamron both are looking both drivers are looking forward to lead this brand new team going forward, with a very with an experienced but with the experienced but underrated Kyoshi Bashir waiting in the wings to take it to maybe try and steal a spot if it if he gets a chance. Maserati, the the luxury Italian brand has not competed in in open wheel racing in a very long time, but they are finally back with Ger with British driver Ger with. With cheerful options of Jeremy or Woodford and Iker Vidal as drivers, they're looking they're looking for a soft start to the season, but looking to, to looking to grow very quickly indeed. And CRS Formula Racing, the second ex the second and final expansion team in the in the main series, with both drivers suffer they've struggled in the os in the open se in the preseason with massive testing crushes for Atia and Coro, both drivers suffering. Severe suffering injuries, Atia because of a Atia because of a massive fire because of a massive fuel leak and fire, and Coro and Coro do it and Coro due to a massive to a ma due to a massive shunt when testing in Milan. Both drivers are both drivers need to recover, and Mazzario might be the reserve driver to do it. The team is looking to try and just survive this first season.